Are you or someone you know struggling with arrhythmia? If so, you may have heard of Sotolol, a medication commonly prescribed to treat this condition. But what exactly is Sotolol, and is it really the wonder drug that many claim it to be? In this article, we will delve into the efficacy and side effects of Sotolol, providing you with the information you need to make an informed decision about your treatment options. Join us as we explore the science behind Sotolol's mechanism of action, its success rates in managing arrhythmia, and the potential risks and side effects associated with its use. Whether you're a patient seeking relief or a healthcare professional looking to expand your knowledge, this article will be your comprehensive guide to understanding Sotolol and its role in managing arrhythmia. So, let's get started and discover if Sotolol truly lives up to its reputation as a wonder drug. Understanding Arrhythmia and its Impact on Health Arrhythmia refers to an irregular heartbeat or abnormal heart rhythm. It can manifest in various forms, including tachycardia, rapid heart rate, or bradycardia, slow heart rate. While occasional irregular heartbeats are common and usually harmless, persistent arrhythmia can have significant health implications. It can disrupt the normal functioning of the heart, potentially leading to cardiovascular complications, fainting, or even sudden cardiac arrest. What is Sotolol and how does it work? Sotolol is a medication classified as a beta blocker and antiarrhythmic agent. It works by blocking certain receptors in the heart, which reduces the heart's response to adrenaline and other stress hormones. By doing so, Sotolol helps regulate the heart's rhythm and prevents the occurrence of irregular heartbeats. Sotolol has both beta blocking and potassium channel blocking properties. The beta blocking effect helps slow down the heart rate, while the potassium channel blocking effect prolongs the repolarization phase of the cardiac cycle. This combined action helps restore and maintain a normal heart rhythm, making Sotolol an effective treatment option for various types of arrhythmia. Efficacy of Sotolol in Treating Arrhythmia Numerous studies have investigated the efficacy of Sotolol in managing arrhythmia, and the results have been promising. In a randomized controlled trial involving patients with atrial fibrillation, Sotolol was found to be significantly more effective than a placebo in maintaining normal sinus rhythm. Another study comparing Sotolol to other antiarrhythmic drugs showed that Sotolol was as effective, if not more, in preventing recurrent ventricular arrhythmias. Sotolol has also demonstrated its efficacy in preventing sudden cardiac death in patients with a history of life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias. In a large-scale clinical trial, Sotolol was compared to a placebo in patients who had survived a previous cardiac arrest or had sustained ventricular tachycardia. The study found that Sotolol significantly reduced the risk of recurrent ventricular arrhythmias and improved overall survival rates. Potential Side Effects of Sotolol Like any medication, Sotolol comes with potential side effects that should be considered before starting treatment. The most common side effects of Sotolol include fatigue, dizziness, and shortness of breath. These symptoms are usually mild and transient, but if they persist or worsen, it is important to consult a healthcare professional. Sotolol can also cause more serious side effects, although they are less common. One such side effect is a prolonged QT interval, which can increase the risk of a life-threatening arrhythmia called torsades de points. This risk is higher in patients with pre-existing heart conditions, electrolyte imbalances, or those taking other medications that can prolong the QT interval. Regular monitoring of the QT interval is crucial for patients on Sotolol to ensure safety and optimize treatment outcomes. Factors to consider before starting Sotolol treatment Before starting Sotolol treatment, several factors should be considered to ensure its suitability and safety for each individual patient. These factors include the patient's medical history, current medications, and any known allergies. Sotolol may interact with certain medications, such as other beta blockers or medications that prolong the QT interval, so it is essential to inform the healthcare provider about all medications being taken. Patients with underlying heart conditions, liver or kidney problems, or a history of asthma or other respiratory disorders may require closer monitoring while on Sotolol. Additionally, pregnant or breastfeeding individuals should discuss the potential risks and benefits of Sotolol with their healthcare provider before initiating treatment. Sotolol Dosage and Administration Guidelines The dosage of Sotolol can vary depending on the specific arrhythmia being treated and individual patient characteristics. It is typically initiated at a low dose and gradually increased under medical supervision to achieve the desired therapeutic effect. The healthcare provider will determine the appropriate dosage based on factors such as the patient's age, renal function, and overall health. Sotolol is usually taken orally in tablet form, with or without food. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and administration guidelines provided by the healthcare professional. Skipping doses or taking more than the prescribed amount can increase the risk of side effects or reduce the effectiveness of the medication. 
monitoring and managing side effects while on sotalol. Regular monitoring of the patient's heart rhythm, blood pressure, and electrolyte levels is essential while on sotalol therapy. This monitoring helps detect any potential side effects or complications early on and allows for timely intervention. The healthcare provider may also periodically assess the patient's kidney and liver function to ensure sotalol is being metabolized properly and to adjust the dosage if necessary. If side effects such as dizziness, fainting, or shortness of breath occur, it is important to seek medical attention promptly. The healthcare provider may need to adjust the dosage or consider alternative treatment options based on the patient's response to sotalol. Alternative Treatments for Arrhythmia While sotalol is an effective treatment option for many patients with arrhythmia, it may not be suitable or tolerated by everyone. In such cases, alternative treatments may be considered. Other antiarrhythmic medications, such as amiodarone or flecainide, can be prescribed based on the specific type and severity of the arrhythmia. Additionally, procedures like catheter ablation or implantation of a pacemaker or defibrillator may be recommended for certain individuals. Non-pharmacological approaches, such as lifestyle modifications and stress management techniques, can also complement medical treatment. Maintaining a healthy diet, engaging in regular physical activity, and reducing stress can contribute to overall heart health and potentially alleviate arrhythmia symptoms. Conclusion Is Sotalol the wonder drug for arrhythmia? In conclusion, Sotalol has shown significant efficacy in managing various types of arrhythmia. Its dual action as a beta blocker and potassium channel blocker helps regulate heart rhythm and prevent recurrent episodes of irregular heartbeats. However, like any medication, Sotalol comes with potential side effects and considerations that need to be carefully evaluated before initiating treatment. The decision to prescribe Sotalol should be made by a healthcare provider after a thorough assessment of the patient's medical history, current medications, and individual risk factors. Close monitoring and regular follow-up are crucial to ensure the medication's effectiveness and safety. While Sotalol may be the wonder drug for many individuals with arrhythmia, it is important to remember that each patient is unique, and alternative treatment options should be explored if Sotalol is not suitable or well tolerated. Ultimately, the goal is to find the most effective and personalized treatment approach that improves the patient's quality of life and reduces the risk of complications associated with arrhythmia. Thanks for watching.